Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 on our tutorial series on how to create Minecraft animations. In this tutorial, I will be showing how to import worlds from Minecraft into Blender using Mineways. So in order to start, you're first going to need a few resources. One, you're going to need Blender, the animation program I'm using. Secondly, you're going to need MC Prep. I'll leave a tutorial video on how to download MC Prep in the description. Third, in case you're not already decent at using Blender, I'll leave a tutorial in the description for the basics of using Blender. Lastly, you'll need the program Mineways, which we'll use to export the worlds into Blender. I'll leave a link to all these things in the description. Okay, first you want to open Minecraft and create a world, or open a world that you already have and want to export. If you want to mark a certain point that you're going to export, you can place down a few blocks as a landmark, and you can delete them in Blender afterwards. So once you're done with that, you need to open Mineways, go to File, open world, and then select the world that you would like to import. The ways that you can move around the screen in Mineways is you can left click to move around, scroll wheel to zoom, and hold right click to drag and select which area you want. There's two sliders at the top that say max height and lower depth. The parts highlighted in a pinkish tone are the parts that will be imported into Blender, so make sure to have your whole area covered in that pinkish color if you want it all to be imported. By default, the world will export with the vanilla Minecraft textures. However, if you would like to use a texture pack, press Ctrl T or go to File, Set Terrain File. If there is a texture pack you'd like to use, drop its texture file into this folder. Or if you would like to use one of the texture packs included here, just select the texture file you'd like to use and then click Open. The next step is to export for rendering. To do that, press Ctrl R or go to File, Export for Rendering. Then choose your file directory where you want your world obj to save to. Title your world whatever you'd like it, and then hit save. After hitting save, it'll bring up the model export dialog window. This may look a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry. Most of these options you will never even have to mess with. I'll show you the ones that you'll have to change. First, check the box next to where it says, Make Z the up direction instead of Y. Because for some weird reason in Blender, the Z axis is up instead of Y. Then over where it says Rotate Model Clockwise, check the bubble that says 180. Then open the dropdown that's labeled Physical Material and select Colored and Flexible. Over where it says Make Each Block 1000 millimeters High, change the value to 8. The last thing you'll need to change is to select the box that says Delete Floating Objects, Trees, and Parts Smaller Than 16 Blocks. After this, you can go ahead and press OK. To import your world into Blender, you either need to open up the file you want to use by clicking Ctrl O or File Open, or create a new file by clicking Ctrl N or File New. To import, go to File, Import, and select Wavefront OBJ, then navigate to the location where you save your OBJ file for the world. Select your file, then click Import. If it works, great. However, if you have an error message when trying to import, don't worry, it's an easy fix. What you want to do is switch from Cycles to Blender Render, then do the whole import process again. After it's imported, you can switch back to Cycles. If you're using version 2.79b of Blender, Blender Render will not be an option because it has been removed in the latest update. So if you get an error, I suggest downloading an earlier version of Blender, such as 2.79. After your world has been imported, you want to scale it up by pressing S and then typing 200, then left click to release. Then you want to select your world by pressing B, then dragging to box select, then left clicking to release. Then press T to open up the toolbar on the side, then click on MC Prep Panel, go to the top, and select Mineways, and then hit Prep Materials. If you want to make your world all one object, select all the world, then hit Ctrl J to join it all. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Be sure to join our Discord server so you can ask us questions there as well. I hope you all found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.